Question 20. 17s into 714. So this is a divide question. It's another way of saying 714 divided by 17. And because we're dividing by a number bigger than 12, we're going to use the chunking method. So we're going to, first of all, figure out some easy-to-use chunks of 17. Well, I always recommend people go with this. So one lot of 17, 10 17s, 100 17s, 2 17s, 20 17s, 217. And actually, the other useful one is going to be 5 17s. So what we're going to do, first of all, is work out these chunks. Now, I've actually chosen relatively easy numbers to actually work out. So here we go. 117 is 17. 10 17s is just the same as 117, but with a zero on the end, so 170. 117 is 117, but with two zeros on the end, so that's going to be 1,700. Two 17s, well, double 17 is 34. So 20 17s is the same as two 17s, but with a zero, so that's 340. 217s is the same as two 17s, but with two zeros, so that's 3,400. And five 17s, that's the tricky one. Five 17s is going to be half of 10 17s. So half of 170. Half of 70 is 35. And half of 100 is 50. Put the 50 and the 35 together, you get 85. So five 17s would be 85. Now then, this is what we're going to do next. So we're going to actually now start subtracting chunks of 17 from 714. So what we need to do is look at all of these chunks here and figure out what's the biggest chunk of 17s that I can subtract from 714. Well, the biggest number that goes into 714 from this list is 340. So I'm going to subtract 340 and make a new answer. But when I'm doing this, I need to remember what chunk of 17s I am subtracting. Well, 340 is the same as 20 17s. I'm just going to put a 20 at the side just to remind me that that's the chunk of 17s that I'm subtracting. So here we go. 4 subtract 0 is 4. 1 subtract 4 we can't do. So we borrow from the 7 and that becomes a 6. And the one that we've borrowed turns the 1 into 11. 11 subtract 4 is 7. 6 subtract 3 is 3. So I'm down to 374. Now I need to subtract another chunk of 17s. The idea of this is you subtract as many set chunks of 17 that you can until you get as low as possible. Sometimes we'll get down to zero and sometimes we might have a little remainder at the end. So I'm on 374. So what can I subtract now? Well, the biggest number I can subtract from 374 is this 340 again. So let's subtract another 340 from 374 and we're going to work this out now so 4 subtract 0 is 4 7 subtract 4 is 3 and 3 subtract 3 is nothing so I'm down to 34 so what chunk of 17 can I subtract from 34 now well the next one biggest one I can subtract well there is 34 here and this 34 is exactly two 17s. So I should be writing a 2 at the side here. I should really have earlier on, when I subtracted this 340, I should really have written another 20 at the side there because that 340 was another chunk of 20 17s. So let's continue on. 4 subtract 4 is nothing. 3 subtract 3 is nothing. Nothing subtract nothing is nothing. So basically I'm down to 0. And because I'm down to 0, that means there is no remainder. So what I've done is I've repeatedly subtract chunks of 17 from 714 until there's nothing left. And all that I have to do now is add up my chunks. Well, my chunks are here. 20, a chunk of 20, a chunk of 20, and a chunk of 2. So if I add these together, 20 plus 20 plus 2, 20 plus 20 plus 2 makes 42. So all together I subtracted 42 17s from 714. So my final answer 
is 42. Just a quick recap, I kept subtracting chunks of 17s from 714 and I had a chunk of 20, a chunk of 20 and a chunk of 2 which makes altogether 42 lots. 42 lots of 17 make 714. Final answer, 42.